In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create the effect of tabs in your dashboard simply by using a label-based menu and some dynamic visibility. So what do I mean by this? I basically mean that you have a central focus of your dashboard that can be changed by clicking on the label-based menu that you've selected here. And it gives you the kind of the feeling that there's a, a set of tabs on top of each other and as you select each particular label, that particular tab comes up. So let's go ahead and talk about how we did this. You basically start with the components that you want on your particular dashboard. On this example, I've got four components here. Obviously, I've shrunk them down so you can see that there are actually four components. Um, but they'll be bigger in the, in the middle of the screen. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a, a label-based menu selector. So I go to the selectors and I click on label-based menu, plop that on to the canvas. Now. Uh, by default, there's five labels down here. I only need four. So basically what I'm going to do first is double click on the label base menu and then there's a section called labels. In the section called labels, I'm going to go ahead and click on the ellipsis button and you'll see that there are five labels by default. I only need four, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the subtract button and it takes it away. If I want to add, I can click on the add button. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these the labels names. Uh, so stack bar chart is going to be label one. Uh, line chart will be label two. Stacked column chart will be label three, and label four will be table. Okay. Now the key to this particular trick is the position where you place each item in your label base menu. So for example, stack bar chart is in position 1. That means it is the first label in this label base menu. Whereas table is in position 4. It is the fourth label. So what I want to do is I'm going to leverage the fact that these things are in certain positions and use that in order to manage my dynamic visibility. So let me press OK here and I'll go ahead and talk about the insert option property. The insert option property allows you to define what is the output from your label based menu. It can be a lot of things, but one of the things that it can be is position. That means that when you select an item in this particular label based menu, the output for that item will be the position number of the item that you selected. So for example, if I selected line chart from the label based menu, that means that the number two will be the output for the label base menu. Why number two? Because it's the second item, it's in position two in the label base menu. So position works for me. All I really have to do here is select where the position number will go. So I'm going to click on the insert cell reference icon and I'm going to select cell B2. Why B2? No particular reason, that's just what I chose. Press OK. All right. So now, when I select an item, th that particular item's position number will go in cell B2. So that's set. Let me go ahead and do a little bit of formatting here on the appearance. Let's make it 10 pitch, maybe even italicized. So that looks great. Now it's time to set up the dynamic visibility. Now the dynamic visibility properties can be found under the behavior tab no matter what component you're working with. Every single component in Crystal Excelsius can have dynamic visibility set against it. Now this functionality allows you to determine whether a component is visible or not. And if it's not visible, it allows you to determine what condition has to be met in order to make it visible. Now I've got four components here on my dashboard and the first one I'll work with is the stacked bar chart. Now the stacked bar chart is item number one on my label base menu. That means that if I select that, the number one will be output to the output cell. Now the output cell, if you remember, is cell B2. So what I'll do here is the display status cell, which is essentially the trigger cell, I'm going to set that to cell B2, the same cell that the label base output will output to. And then I'll set the status key, which is the condition that has to be met, to number one. That means that when a user selects this particular item, stack bar chart, from the label base menu, a number one will go into cell B2, which should make this particular component visible. Okay? 
Now, the line chart component, that is the second item in the label base menu. That means if that gets selected, then a number two will go in cell B2. So that means the display status key for this particular component should be a number two. Now, stack column chart, it's the third item in the label base menu, meaning that when a user selects that, a number three will go into cell B2. That means that in order for this particular item to show up, the number three has to be in cell B2. Right now, you should be getting the gist of this. Table is the last component here, and that is also number four in our label base menu, so that should be display status key number four. So the next thing to do is to take all these components and stack them on top of each other. So the next thing that you're going to want to do. So the last thing we want to do is make sure that these components are stacked on top of each other nice and uh, evenly so you don't get a lot of bouncing around as you select these particular items. So what I'll do here is kind of size one up first. Make sure I, I like the way it's, it's sized. And what I'll do is select all of the components at once and go to format and use some alignment tools to do this. Uh, I'm going to say make same size both. And so now they're all increased in size. Now I'm going to go to format align center horizontally, format align center vertically. And so now they're all stacked on top of each other. I can shrink this down a little bit here. And we can go ahead and test it out. Go to preview and stack bar chart, line chart, stack column chart, table. Beautiful.